Hi everyone. <laughs> Welcome to my garden. And today we are going to be planting some bamboo trees. So after I did my first overview of my garden video, I decided that I should actually bring in already grown bamboo trees. So not too big, just a medium size so I can watch them grow. I like to bring my plants in when they're little and then watch them grow. So I ordered two bamboo trees, different species, um, a, red, a red one and a black one. So today I will be planting them and you can watch me how I do my planting. Um, one thing um, to note is that I should have planted them shortly after they arrived but the weather hasn't been so good when the weather was good it was like too hot or too windy and so today seemed to be the best day it's not too cold it is very windy so my tripod has fallen down a few times while I was trying to, to shoot this video um, hopefully it wouldn't fall again while we start planting so stay with me I like to protect my hands I've got a garden glove I, I wear that when I'm just doing like general gardening clearing out weeds and all that uh, when I'm going to like be tilling the soil I'm mixing up my nail I like to wear this just to protect my nails and my hands So I've got two pots here and yes, I am on the floor, actually on the floor <laughs> and this is what I do. So this is basically what I do, not just for camera, you know, um, I like to sit down on the floor sometimes when I'm doing my gardening and um, water them or talk to them or just check out how they are doing. So you're just seeing me real life how I am, okay? And what if I get tired sitting on the floor, I'll sit up on the chair. But for now, I'm just going to sit here. It's easier for me to sit here while I shoot this video so that you can see everything. Okay. So I've got two, these two pots, which I bought a while ago. They've been here because I, I didn't really know what to put in them. So yes, I'm going to be putting them in these two large pots. And the bamboo trees actually do need a big pot to grow in. Yeah. I've also got some rooting powder, organic rooting powder. This has been very helpful. I was introduced um, to this rooting powder a few months ago. It helped to make my plants um, root thicker and um, stronger and healthier. And then I've also got this. I like to feed my plants with this every now and then. When I'm planting them for the first time, I like to put this in the base. It's like a slow release. But also got this in the mix in my mix and i've got a um, multi-purpose compost from it's heavy i'm gonna try to take it off that's the one i'm using for this and i've also got some back this is so that there will be enough drainage some stones now I'm just a few on the base this is just to help flow, the easy flow of the water out of the pot we don't want um, the pot to store water it's gonna kill the plant so it's good to always put stones I use stones I've always used stones um, you can use back put backs like this I'm also gonna put that like over and then mix but I always like to have stones at the base not too much just if you okay now there is a 
wasn't any like measurement of the pump post on the back. So we're gonna have a lot of the plane going past because of where I live. There's an airport across. We've got the boat running at the river. So there's a lot of background sound. Um, so forgive me. There isn't any way to delete the plane and stop the boats from moving. So we're just gonna carry on, yeah? Just ignore them, ignore them and just focus on me. So it is so windy, like windy, 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 windy. Hopefully I don't get sand into my sand in my eyes. So here. I could use this but <laughs> I've always used my hand all my life whenever I do plants so I've done that bit and I'll do this this will work faster you know I'm just doing both of them the box and see how big the bamboo I bought is if they are still small because I want to lift them up I'll add some more soil to the base to raise it um, if they are big enough then I'll leave it as it is and then put them in here and then I cover them around with, with the mix so let me bring this one first this I had to open because it has been out so I had to open it so I get some light. That's what it looks like. So it looks it looks yellowy, but it's going to be fine. Yeah. And for the size of this, let me get it out. I would need to put some more soil in the base to lift it up because what I would like for it to do is I like it to be like this. So it needs a, a lot more soil on the base to raise it. Okay. So at this point, each layer I do, I like to put some of my. So I like to put some of this on the base because it's slow re release. I put it on the base, and then put some more more soil over it. Not too much. So. such a windy windy day so you saw my camera went down I'm going to try to hold it and secure it from falling one minute okay I'm back <laughs> yeah I I've been dealing with that all day since I've been trying to film this with the wind knocking my stand down but we will get through because the weather is changing now, so if I don't plant it now, it's going to be more difficult for me, you know, to do so. And it won't be good for the plants either. So, let me just read this so I can get easy access. I've got oh, my hair in my eyes. Yeah, not a very good day, but... Okay, so more soil. More of this. fight with the wind and then you still have to get your work done okay so I'm trying to get my work done this is gonna be done today more 
Now what I do is, you know, I buy these bags and I keep them for when I need them. And sometimes when I'm planting, if I don't have enough, I look around my garden. If I have pots with um, dead plants in and the soil is still good, I use it. I just repurpose my soil. Okay, so yeah, yeah. it's stable now i've got a few things holding it together hopefully it won't fall down again <laughs> so let's get this garden done let's get this planting done okay so here is the plant we're going to have all the details in oops oops no, no, not on my gloves i like the way they packed it up it's very good i think this garden has done really well i'll put their details on the description box in case you would like to buy from them soil is damp um, it doesn't look it looks healthy it looks healthy enough this will survive this will survive um, so let's see i think i think the height is high enough maybe i'll raise it a little more i'll raise it a little more i'll raise it a little more Risk a little more. I'll put some back and then, oops. and then at this point, if when I put the the plant in, I'm gonna put this first on the base. I'll show you what it looks like. So, if I'm doing like a, a, a cotton, I use a tip to make a hole, and then I put the plant stem on the rooting powder so wet the plant stem a bit put it on the rooting powder then dip it into the hole or well, in this case what i'm going to do is just sprinkle a bit of it it's like white sand sand you need to be careful not to sprinkle it in my eyes yeah that's what it looks like so i'm just going to sprinkle a bit it's a different way of using it but it will work it's in the soil that's the most important thing And then now I'm going to take this out. So what I'm going to do is just do this, turn it, oops, and it's out, yeah. And then I just put it in the base, and then put some soil around it. Put some soil around it. I hand press it also so that it is firm. Yeah, so that's that's good to go, and then we'll work on the next one. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put this aside. Oh, very pleased, very very pleased. I love this one. Oh, I'm very pleased with this. So I'm planting this bamboo the way I, I plant all my plants. It is long. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find something to hold it. Yeah, so that it doesn't fall, but it is it is very long. Very, I'm very pleased with the, with the height of it. Very, very pleased with the height of it. So let's get planted. Okay. 
be nice to see how they grow and you know I'm growing another species uh, from seed so that's also doing well it's still very tiny and it'll be nice to see the different types I have I'll keep you guys updated we've got it it's it's firm now it's firm we have some more so i've added later and this is firm this doesn't really need support okay. the next thing is to water it a bit not too much just a little and then put it in the position uh, where it will be for the next few months and I'll keep watching it and I'll keep moving the position until I find the spot where it is happy. I've done that for most of my plants. I just keep moving them around. Uh, and the weather keeps changing. So when the weather is changing and it's not favorable, you know, I kind of move things around in order not to lose my plants. So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed watching me plant my bamboo trees. I'll be doing a follow-up and just telling you what's happening with them and if they are doing well. I will do a follow-up in a couple of months. So take care.